Dear custom, now we are introduce our also via connection and operation. First, we connect our email to the monitor with VG camera. Okay, you can also connect them with HDMI or RC cable. Then connect to power adapter. And we can see the system is starting. Then we connect our network switch to power adapter. Then we can connect the network switch to power to network router or network. And now we can connect up a mirror to the network switch. Also, we can connect an operating mouse to the MVR. Then we connect our IP cameras to power adapter. After connection, we can connect them to the network around the network switch. Okay, we can see our camera starts self-checking. Now we can connect our app cameras to a switch. Because we want to view our cameras on the NVR operating system, so the NVR and the cameras must be connected to the same network switch or network router. Also, the connected app camera should support on web protocol or it Okay, connection down. And the camera, if the camera do not support on web protocol, it cannot it cannot be connected to our MVR. We also connect a computer to the network switch for later view. For later CMS view. Okay, we can connect it at first. Now we can get a close view of the operating system. Okay, it shows three QR code. It is there are meaningful remote view and we will introduce it later. Okay, choose the language you need. We choose English. Okay. Mm, you can change the password. Original password is empty and we changed it to a product SPU S804. Okay, change is successful. We can enable DHCP for network setting. Then we can search connected app cameras. And uh, I also set our camera's name to, to it is SPU plus definition and on web protocol. Okay, password error. We need to first input the camera's password. And our camera's password is default empty. And I also set it to our product SQ, SPU for easy recognition.
Okay, we can see the cameras start recording now. Okay, our cameras are connected. Also, we can drag the screen to set order. Okay. We can also set record resolution and the frame size and the hard disk 3 terabyte and it is not included in the package. And you can use about a month. Input the password as eight zero and four. Okay, our cameras part panted control. We can control it to to move by our area. So we can see our images are pretty clear. Okay. And we can see the audio record and audio monitor was closed. If your camera supports audio function, you can also record video. And we can see record mode is auto record or audio record. Then we can play back. And uh, this CCT channel area support four channel playback. Okay. And we can see for channel playback at the same time. It shows playback time. Now so we can backstep or rewind. Play back again. Also, we can snapshot our digital room to enlarge the pictures. If your camera support audio, you can turn on the sound. Also, we can fast playback, max support 60 times fast playback. Okay. Put it back down. And our email was defaulted to auto record. Also, we can back up the record videos. Okay. Insert the U disk. Click OK to back up. Also, we can stop the record manually. And now we are introduce another record mode, scheduled record. Also, we can set start time and end and, and time. And the system and the system time is 40 hour and 31 minutes. We can set it to 32 minutes. Okay, <coughs> and we can see when we set it, the system didn't record because it hadn't arrived our setting time. Okay, now recording. Our recording now. Then we can play back. Choose scheduled 
record, then playback. And choose playback time. Also, we can fast playback. Okay, play back down. That's all. Thank you.